Georgia on the verge of having one of the most restrictive abortion laws in the country. CBS 46's Rebecca Schramm's live at the state capitol. And Rebecca, is it possible the Georgia House will give its final vote on this today? It is possible, Karen, although I have to tell you at the moment, it is not on the official calendar of that bill. However, as we know, things can change really quickly in these last few days of the legislative session. Take a look. As expected, we're seeing a few demonstrators here at the Capitol today, some urging lawmakers to vote no on the so-called heartbeat bill, others urging a yes vote. To break it down for you, current Georgia law prohibits most abortions past the 20th week of pregnancy. Well, this bill prohibits most abortions if a doctor detects a heartbeat in the womb, and that can happen as early as week six of pregnancy. In recent days, there's been pushback from some business groups that say a law like this would hurt Georgia. The Writers Guild warned that TV and film crews might leave Georgia if this passes. Let's listen to the argument from both sides, starting with this pro-life supporter. I asked her what it would mean if the heartbeat bill becomes law. That will be, I will say, just our dream come true um, because that baby will be able to live. If the mother doesn't have the resources or if they don't want the baby, there's a ton of families that will love to adopt the baby. The U.S. Supreme Court has been clear. A woman has a constitutional right to an abortion before the point of viability. And there is not a single scientist or even politician who will assert that a six-week-old embryo can survive outside of a uterus. Governor Brian Kemp has said if this bill comes to his desk, he will sign it into law. But first, it has to get through this final vote. We're watching t today to see if it does come up for a vote, and we'll have updates for you throughout the day. Live at the state capitol, Rebecca Schramm, CBS 46 News.